guys, this is Verong, speak of the stars, and welcome back to my channel. And a happy new year! So it's officially, officially, <laughs> it's officially the 2020s. I hope you guys had a good celebration for the new year. I'm still kind of, well, uh, no, not kind of, I'm still on my vacation leave, so I have a couple of days left to squeeze the shit that I want to do before I have to go back to work. <laughs> so yeah. We're doing something a little bit different today. We're actually drawing with just pencil today. It's more of a practice. Um, what do you call this? <laughs> it's more of a practice video over a finished piece. And I actually had a different idea for the New Year video. I wanted to release the Merlin fan that I've been wanting to do for months and months on end now. I first started that Merlin fan art in August. Um, I only finished it last December, like December 30th, I think, or 31st, I finished it. So I have around 15 hours of footage that I needed to go through. I've managed to trim down the video to an hour already, and I still need to do a little bit of um, refining and cutting and whatever to hopefully make it a little bit shorter and not one hour. So it might release next week. We'll see if I get to finish it. But for now, We'll be doing this practice piece, and this is one of the more common drawing exercises that you'll hear, and it would be suggested a lot if you're really trying to improve your art. So, I'm drawing this water bottle with just a pencil. No erasers. I'm not allowed to use the eraser. And that's pretty much it. So this thing took me approximately an hour to do, mainly because I already knew what to do. More or less, it's just a matter of coordinating my hands and my eyes. So back in college, I took a class that was just drawing. It taught you how to see objects, it taught you how to use your pencil, it even taught you how to um, shave the pencil with just a cutter. It also taught you the very basics of drawing. So using the mirror technique or like this, using no eraser. Actually, that was, that was the hard rule of that class. You're not allowed to use an eraser at all. And we had a project that from the start of the SEM to the very end of the SEM, you would draw on your drawing notebook every single day. And the prof would check it on the next session of class. So it didn't matter what subject matter you were drawing. It did not matter if you did it sloppily or if you're just doing lines. The idea was to just get you drawing. It was to get you to, into the habit of drawing and drawing and drawing. And at the very start, I thought it, it would be easy. I thought like, hey, that's pretty easy. I have a lot of characters I want to draw. I have a lot of ideas and scenarios I want to draw. But by the second week, I was kind of parched for things to draw. <laughs> I mean, it was like really scarce already. Like, I started drawing things like my shoes. I started drawing things like my necklaces, erasers. Uh, pencil sharpeners, plants, whatever. So at, at some point you run out and then at that point you start drawing things around you. And I think that might have been one of the goals of that project was to get you out of your comfort zone and once you're pressed to keep on drawing every day because you know you don't want to fail <laughs> so you start drawing things that you that are around you that are in real life so you're more attentive to how the light hits it, what are the sharp edges, what are things that you need to blur out, all with just pencil. And that kind of catapulted my skill level a lot because I had to think about things more. It's not just my imagination, so I had preferences in real life. And it made me more aware of what I need to do achieve certain things. So with this clear plastic bottle, this is actually already pretty tough to do, mainly because the water bottle is, aside from it being clear already, it's already tough enough with that. It also has a lot of grooves and, you know, sharp edges that a lot of shadows and highlights would catch on to. So one of the first things that I drew that was actually a fully shaded values intense drawing was a beer can and I crushed that beer can and then uncompressed it again and drew that for the class. And it was really fun because the beer can is solid 
but the tough part about the beer is that it's very reflective so you have to draw a lot of lights and shadows and since it was crushed it had a lot of edges not to mention you also had to draw the design of the beer can itself so i learned a lot from that drawing mm, yeah that's pretty fun i really enjoyed that like to this day i'm pretty proud of that particular drawing so maybe if you want to start doing something like this i'd suggest going for more solid objects first so start with as you can see on the left side, I drew erasers, I drew a safety pin, and then maybe you can step up to the beer can or something metallic. Then maybe you can step up to a water bottle if you're, you know, if you're hesitant to start on something that intimidating right away. For me, I went with the water bottle mainly because I kind of already knew what I had to do since I did it four years ago. It's just a matter of warming up a little bit. But once you get the skill, you don't lose it like it's like riding a bike once you learn it it's in your head you can get a little rusty but it's there so it's a very valuable skill and i would suggest that you would do it too but yeah it's just fun it is a little fun thing to do when i recorded this actually i remember that my um my phone arm thing that i used to record actually broke so i had to pop this up on books and cans so that I would be able to film using the setup <laughs> but it was, it was a fun drawing I actually had a bit more difficulty drawing the shadows of the bottle than the bottle itself mainly because I had two light sources that had varying shadow darkness um, opacity so I had a bit more difficulty with that than anything else yeah oh well <sighs> So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's not the usual watercolor or digital thing, but I still hope that it was a bit more inspiring or a bit more fun to watch than normal. If you did enjoy it, feel free to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or DeviantArt, or even subscribe to this channel. You know, that's what YouTubers do. And yeah, I'll see you around. Bye.